Guys, Bitcoin with Danny and it's Danny here to retire off Bitcoin early, you know, before 70, before 60, maybe before 50, maybe before 40. You got to understand this. And this follows on from yesterday's video. If you didn't catch it, I gave the exact strategy that I've used. The exact strategy. Just go and copy it. But you got to understand this. That's what we're going to talk about today. And uh, if that sounds good, hit the like button. We call it your daily exercise. I'm, uh, I'm looking very summery today. <laughs> I'm, uh, I was motocrossing today at the north and uh, I'm just heading over to my dad's now. We are rebuilding his old race bike. And uh, next weekend we're taking it down to Fahian for a classic bike show. And uh, I'm going to be bringing my letters and hopefully get a run out on the Fahian racetrack which is an old road race and it would have been my favorite circuit to go to. It was so bumpy coming down the hill and through the village it was so smooth that you could put your knee on the deck and scratch. So, got to get this bike built anyway for the show. So that's what I'm over to do. Um, nothing here is financial advice. I run Ireland's first Bitcoin consulting company and we're in our fifth year now of helping people to understand Bitcoin, to custody their Bitcoin correctly in a multi-sig so they can't lose it, it can't get stolen from them okay and help them up a plan to retire early by using bitcoin so in yesterday's video we talked about um you know why i detach myself for the price and why every month i just buy more bitcoin and uh, that's all i do every month i just buy more bitcoin it doesn't matter whether we're in a bear market or a bull market or a sideways market every single month okay i own more bitcoin and that's just what i've done for years and what i will do for years it's that simple but the catch here is, guys and girls, the catch is you've got to understand why I do that. Okay, so if you want to do it, it's all fair and well me telling you what I do. But if you don't understand why I do that, you're not going to be able to do that. You're not going to be able to retire early. Okay, so that takes an insane amount of work. You've got to read a lot of books, you've got to join communities. Shameless plug, we have a retire early club, we teach you everything. We've 300 people in our school. It's a year course, six courses, and we do a live call every two weeks. Plus we have five, six WhatsApp groups on all different niches of our space. So you're learning for a whole year. It's like going to college, except instead of learning how to do a job, you're learning how to give up your job. <laughs> so it's way better. Um, so you've got a bit of work to do. In yesterday's video, I talked about Bitcoin return 100% per year, and uh, let's say you saved a thousand quid, or let's say you save 10 grand a year, whatever that works out at 800 quid a month. Um, you know, in four years, you save 40 grand, you've invested 40 grand, and it's worth 130 or something like that. I can't remember the maths, it's just crude maths, okay? Um, and it's just to give you an example of exponential growth. But for you to allocate that money into Bitcoin, because with your money, you can do loads of things with it. You can spend your money right now in the present. You know, and there's, there's, that makes a lot of sense because uh, who knows what the future's gonna be like, so you might as well have your pleasure now. But with investing, okay, there's a thing called delayed gratification. Okay, it's the same in fitness and in health. If any of you guys train or anything, you know it's all about delayed gratification. It's like, um, you gotta do the work now, but you don't get the result right now. The result is in the future. And that's the secret to freedom. If you want freedom, you've got to delay your gratification. You've got to go through a bit of a hard time before you get the really easy time. And if you always choose the easy time in the present, then really most of the time ends up being hard. So if you can do the hard things, um, life gets easier. And if you always take the easy decision, life gets harder and, that, and that's just basics guys do me a favor here hit the like button let's try and tell this algorithm that i'm back and uh, summon more of our crew to check out the vid hit the like button there throw a comment in let me know where you're listening from especially if you're a new person uh, in fact this would be really interesting tell me how long you've been following my videos uh, i was looking at an old phone last night sorry i'm going on a tangent here but i'll come back i was looking at an old phone last night and uh it was from 2020 and I used to screenshot haters and their comments. You know, because it used to affect me. It was like, you know, well, it affects everyone. Everyone's only human. But like, you know, Bitcoin was priced under 20K then. And it was all like, you're a dummy, you're a scammer, Bitcoin's worthless. 
you know, there's, there's just so many screenshots. And I stopped doing it because I'm like, why am I giving energy into this toxicity? But let me know how long you're following the Bitcoin with any channel. Are you here one month, one year, two years, four years, more? That'd be really interesting to find out. So, in terms of your money, you can spend your money right now, or you can save it, or you can invest it. Now, for half of my life, I was a saver. I've always lived below my means and tried to save for my future, for a better future. But when I started to understand money, I started to realize that savers are losers. You, you might as well just spend the thing because saving euros is a worthless exercise because you're saving something that's just going down in value. Um, you know, so it's going to lose its value, so you might as well spend it. So then it le led me into, okay, if I can't save my money, I have to invest my money. But I thought investing was risky. People told me just save money, get a job, put money in a bank. Poor people taught me that, okay? Or people running our financial system taught us that. Nonsense. You'll never retire early doing that. You must become an investor. Okay, so once you get in your head you're going to be an investor, what are you going to invest in? You're going to invest in Bitcoin, hard, sound, digital money. You're going to invest in gold, money of the 20th century, a dying asset. Are you going to invest in stock market? Are you going to invest in bonds? Are you going to invest in property? Are you going to invest in wine, classic cars, collectibles? You name it. What are you going to invest in? Now, I invest in Bitcoin and the greater crypto market. And my reasoning for that is there's nothing else going to keep up with this space. Nothing. This is a huge wealth transfer. And if you do the work on this space, it becomes blatantly obvious that there's so much capital coming into these markets. We're worth like two trillion at the moment. We're going to 10, then we're going to 50, then we're going to 100. You've no idea how much wealth you can generate in this asset class if you focus on it. None of the other asset classes will do that. Eight years in this asset class is the equivalent to 100 years in the S&P. Eight years investing into this asset class is the equivalent to 100, that's more than a lifetime. That's two lifetimes, okay? It's generations, 100 years in the S&P. And the S&P makes a lot of people rich, but not as fast as this market. And that's why I focus all my attention here. And that's why I don't distract, get distracted. And people say, oh, but you should be diversified. Again, nonsense, okay? Talk to people for, from rent seeking financial system. You should be diversified. It's, it's, it's so stupid. But like people just regurgitate this nonsense because they were told it and it makes a bit of sense to them. But they don't like, they don't really dig in and think rationally about it. If you thought rationally, you'd be like, when you're rich, when you're really rich, diversify yourself. Until you've hit your financial goals, you need to be concentrated, okay? You can't be diluting yourself all over the place because you'll get nowhere. And the own, and I, I literally had a comment like this on one of my posts. You know, oh, you should be diversified. Michael Saylor's not diversified. It's like Michael Saylor's a billionaire. And the reason he's a billionaire is because he never diversifies. He's concentrated. He does work. And then he has ultimate focus. Focused in on something. Not feckin', I'll have a bit of this and a bit of that and the next, the next shiny thing that comes along. And be distracted. That gets you nowhere. Okay, you gotta be concentrated. If you wanna get rich, you gotta be concentrated. And that's why I'm concentrated. That's the only reason I retired early is because I was super concentrated. I went all in on business, went all in on one business, okay? And it worked out. Well, it didn't really work out. I had three or four businesses that sort of worked and I had a couple of failures along the way. But because I was concentrated, I wasn't trying to dilute myself. And it's the same with my investments. I concentrate them, okay? I do a lot of work. Now I put my chips in. And I know I'm right. That's, that's how much work I've done. It's so obvious. And it's pretty obvious I'm being right because we've been teaching people about Bitcoin since it was, I think, six grand a coin uh, years ago. And we told you it would go to 60 and then it'll go to 600. Now, it's only gone to 60. It hasn't gone to 600 yet, but it will. Okay, I'll do a video and I'll say, remember when I done that video and I said six and then 60 and then 600 and now we're 600. So we're going there. It's really obvious. There's so much money coming into this space. So much wealth to flood into this space over the next decade. And it's a massive wealth transfer and it's a massive opportunity for generational wealth for people who are prepared to do the work, okay? And not run with the crowd. You see, the thing is, humans don't like to be different. It's dodgy like, you know, if you're on a train and everyone is uh, just sitting there on their phones and you start singing, 
Like that would terrify us. Because you're totally different, you're doing something different. We all want to be the same, so therefore we all do the same thing. I don't want to be the same, I've never wanted to be the same. Because the same means uh, you have a job that you hate, you have health that's in desperate shape, uh, you've no energy, you're medicated up to your eyeballs once you hit 40, and that only gets worse as you go on, uh, you've no free time, you've no spiritual health, you, uh, you have a pension, what a scam, okay? You got scammed by the pension system, you made someone else rich, you took all the risk, they got rich. Like, why would anyone want to do that? But anyway, most people do, they just, they're, they aren't taught. So, so I never wanted to be uh, like normal people. I always wanted to be different, and therefore I have to do different things. Like, if I go to a party and I say to my friends, hands up here, who's got a Bitcoin pension strategy? No, well, some of my friends will, because I've orange filled them all over the years. But uh, you go to a regular party, people are like, a Bitcoin pension strategy? Wow, that's risky, that's volatile. Uh, someone could turn it off, governments will ban it. All the same shite that I hear since I got into Bitcoin, that's all not true. And it's less true now than it ever was, but people still regurgitate it. So you gotta do something different. You gotta do the work on Bitcoin. Congratulations if you have done the work on it. Congratulations if you are allocating. Congratulations if you are concentrated. Not financial advice, but that's how I play the game. Um, and if you're only beginning your journey, Keep working! Work on Bitcoin and then you won't have to work at all if you don't want to. I enjoy work, I love working. Um, but I work on things I'm passionate about. I have a business that takes people through fasting. You know, what a joy. Teach people how to fast, get them amazing results. I've people literally got 16 people finished the fast at me there this morning, feeling amazing. You want to see the comments, follow Fasting with Dini if you ever want to see what we do there. We fix your health. Fasting for your health, Bitcoin for your wealth. Life is so easy if you can just understand both those things and use them. Uh, and then of course I have Bitcoin business and fitness and you know my investments that I manage but it's all fun stuff I enjoy doing it it's deadly you'd be bored otherwise uh, and, 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 and that's the thing so do your work keep working on Bitcoin you'll understand that this whole system of fiat money which is basically fake money that we use I think it was Robert Kiyosaki I heard calling it fake money but it is it's just paper it's bullshit paper backed by nothing and you work for it and you save it and they print it and they make yours worthless and, and people don't question that because they don't understand it and that's why life is so hard until you understand Bitcoin and life is so easy once you understand Bitcoin and use it for four years nobody can print Bitcoin that's why my Bitcoin has increased in purchasing power so much so I don't save in euros cash is trash it's a shit asset I save in Bitcoin Bitcoin goes up 100% a year okay 100% a year and that compounds okay the reason life is so hard for people who don't understand Bitcoin right now and only going to get harder is because inflation compounds. Inflation compounds. So people are like, oh, inflation's at 3%, life's good. It's like, yeah, but your savings are worth 50% less and you're never getting that money back. Coffees are now four quid. They're never going to be a euro again. Never! Okay? So the 50 grand in savings you had to buy your deposit on your house, well, now you need double that. You're screwed. You're fecked, 30 year olds, 20 year olds are so screwed. They've got to get orange pill, they've got to get into Bitcoin, they've got to understand money because you are so screwed otherwise. Your wealth has been stolen, all your opportunities have been taken from you. It was taken in 2008 in the great financial crisis and then we made it even harder in 2020. And guess what, we've so much debt now, we're gonna fuck you even more for the next 10 years. That's why your only opportunity is Bitcoin. Forget all the other nonsense, it's all crap. None of it's keeping up with Bitcoin. You gotta zoom out, you gotta focus on four year time horizons. I focus, I price everything in Bitcoin. Price my wealth in Bitcoin, price assets in Bitcoin. Nothing is keeping up, okay? Stocks aren't keeping up. No other investment's keeping up. I used to be diversified. Got rid of all that crap. Making 12%, 12%. Sure inflation's higher than that, real inflation is. You gotta make 100% a year, 50% a year if you wanna get ahead. If you want to uh, rule pal calls it unfuck your future. And he's dead right. He's so right. But um, sorry for going on a rant here. I've got a lot of energy. I've got a lot of adrenaline. I've done a lot of riding motocross today. Riding really well. Riding the best I've ever rode on the motocross bike um, at 40, almost 43 years of age. It was pretty cool. I think, keep thinking like, ah, I've peaked. But nah, riding really well today. Who's that now now? 
Oh, someone's getting annoyed because we're driving slow already. Um, guys, better hop off here. Have the crack with you. Yeah, Nikki's just saying, the Germans sold their Bitcoin. Imagine selling Bitcoin. You can print euros for free, and what you do is you sell Bitcoin to buy euros that you can print for free. Such a dumb move. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, Germany, Germany is fucked. <laughs> well, they just fucked themselves. They sold their Bitcoin. That would be a big regret. Like everyone who sells Bitcoin at any time ever. Uh, watch this space, guys. All right, Danny out. Have a super day. Study Bitcoin. Do the work. Life gets easier. Do it for four years. Don't follow the crowd. Screw that shit. But more to life, guys. Danny out.